Okay, so today I just got home from the most fantastic theater trip ever. Like, we went to, to Stanton, Virginia, and went to see three Shakespeare shows. Yeah, I said three. We, we went to the Blackfriars Playhouse, which is the only recreation of Shakespeare's indoor theater. Um, on Friday night, once we got to Virginia, we got to see Cymbeline, which is a romance, um, which is probably my favorite out of the three we saw. Um, on Saturday morning, we got up kind of early, um, and then we got to go take a tour of the Blackfriars Playhouse. Um, we got to go to the downstairs area with all of the makeup rooms and costume rooms and see where they build all the costumes. It's so cool. All the costumes are built by like four ladies or whoever is working. Like there's only four of them and so many costumes are used and they're all like built from like nothing. Um, and we got to see the props and the trap door and pretty much everything about the theater was just, it was really cool. Um, it was completely built to be as accurate as possible to the Blackfriars Theater in Shakespeare's day. And then after that, we got to be on the stage for an hour and have a little workshop with Professor Matt Moore um, and work on a monologue from Henry V. And we had to all split up and work on the presen pre presence of Shakespearean actors and just work on um, how much we can use our presence on stage in Shakespeare. Um, and then we kind of spent the day on the town and went to go get lunch and we had some awesome Indian food at a buffet. And then we saw The Merchant of Venice, which is hilarious. And then we had dinner and then we saw Two Gentlemen of Verona, which includes a dog. He is a real dog. And the best thing about that is they promote adoption with the dogs. Um, whatever dog they use is through the adoption agency for um, the animal shelter. And people can sign up to adopt the dog after, which is really cool, really cool uh, um, correlation between theater and helping out the community. But um, yeah, it was just an amazing trip. And like I really commend Shakespeare and actors because that takes a lot, a lot of um, dedication and memorization because with Shakespeare you have to be a word perfect. I mean, he makes the words so that the characters and the scenery and all the aspects of the theater come through. So it's really cool to see just how they perform. Like they do three different shows and it's a, it's a resident troupe so they're all the same actors throughout every show but they change characters for every show of course and each like switch up in the lead roles and it's just so awesome. It was just so cool to see diff different actors and different character roles. And before this trip I like I had an appreciation for Shakespeare, I really did. But I didn't really like it as much as some people did. But after this trip I just absolutely love Shakespeare and I want to learn so much more about it. I really wish the class wasn't cancelled this semester, but I hope to do an independent study in the future. Um, maybe uh, talk to Kayla Peterson to see if she can get me some insights on independent study at the Mary Baldwin College or something like that. Um, I also got to tour that college with her, just a little brief tour of the campus. It's beautiful. Um, it's really cool to go to grad school there if I ever choose to. And just to see the rehearsal space of a grad college. And it's just really cool. Like the trip was just awesome. A lot of fun time with friends or other theater majors. And it was just awesome to see that, you know, you can have fun and learn so much in just like two and a half days. Um, we headed home today, we didn't see any shows, but we still had a good time on the car trip. And I highly recommend going to Stanton, Virginia, to the Blackfriars Playhouse to anyone. I don't care if you're interested in theater or not, you will get the best theater experience ever. And one more thing to add is during pre-show and the interlude, which is what we call intermission here, um, all of the actors either play an instrument and or sing. And it's just like they use modern songs that could go along with the kind of the storyline of the play that is going on that day and they they do a live live show. 
and I actually bought a CD of one of the actors, Chris Johnston, um, and I actually listened to it right now, and it's really good. He, they're all really, really awesome. So, yeah, I highly recommend Pop Fresh Playhouse to anyone interested and just wanting to see a really great show and a really great trip. Have a good day.